Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. Had to start this over one time already because I realized I did not have my sound settings correct. So, <sighs> I had to start all over again. Luckily, I hadn't gone too far. But, um, I would like to say, uh, welcome back, all subscribers, and welcome new subscribers. I'm always so excited when I see new subscribers. Um, I really enjoy meeting new crafty people and sharing my crafty things. <laughs> it's nice to know that some people want to listen to that. So, um, and if you're looking for me uh, on any social media, you could just look for T Dottles. Um, I am on Instagram. I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. I also have what else? I'm on Twitter. I have a blog and I have an Etsy shop. So all those links will be down below. Um, I am planning on doing a finish along in my Facebook group, which is called Tea Dottles Maker Makers. Um, this coming year, uh, I've kind of neglected that group a little bit towards the end of the year. I apologize. Anybody that's in that group, I really do. Um, but I created that group to be more connected with makers of all sorts so it doesn't matter what you make if you like to make things you can be in that group um, I have people who crochet who quilt uh, woodworkers um, people who make tutus <laughs> whatever you make if, if you want to be in a group of creative people that's where you should be um, and as I said I'm having a finish along because I have tons of things I need to finish y'all I did a Quilt plans for 2008-2019 link up this past Monday. I realized just in quilts alone, y'all. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've got to cut through <laughs> the stuff. So I decided I'd have a finish along in my makers group. Uh, my tea dolls makers group. Um, so if you'd like to join along, uh Go ahead and sign up. I plan on doing some videos in my Facebook group as well. I will try to do some live videos, but um, my internet doesn't always doesn't always like it when I do that. Well, it doesn't it doesn't connect well, so it it fuzzes in and out sometimes. So that's that's not that's not a good thing for a live video. So um yeah. If you'd like to draw and join that, it looks, sounds like something you'd like to do. If you've got some things to finish yourself, uh, go ahead and join that Facebook group. And then uh, you can meet other makers. Um, it's a great place to show off your makes and share with others. And um, let's see. I do allow sharing from blogs if what you're sharing is about making something. If that makes sense. I don't, uh, I don't allow, like, marketing your business in there, if that makes sense. Um, this is a group for makers to, um, that may not even have a business or a blog to share and to talk to other makers. And if you have, um, uh, some maker issues, is a great place to put a question out and see if someone can help you figure out a problem you're having with your making so it's that kind of group um so i think i've talked enough about it but check it out all those links are down below um uh, i'm gonna try not to ramble on too much today but i did take notes so i could tell y'all actually what things i made instead of just putting the thing up here like i usually do i'll still put it up here in my show notes but i can actually say what it is now Instead of being like, I don't remember. <laughs> so, let's see. This week has been another busy week. Uh, this past Sunday, we had Christmas at my husband's grandmother's. Um, she does a big Christmas celebration thing for all the extended family and everybody. And we have a good food. And then we do um, gift 
Well, she she gives gifts. She gives a lot of gifts to people. She needs to cut back on that. But uh, she has stuff that she does for everybody, and then everybody gives their gifts to her. And anything they got to give to anybody else. And then we have a man woman gift exchange where everything gets put in a pile and you draw a number and then you go pick and then you can steal things and you know that's always great fun um let's see i wound up with a set of 24 glass containers with the snap top lids so i was excited about that um it did get stolen from me once and then my other gift which i liked too got stolen but i stole the containers back so <laughs> I decided to keep my fa la la llama cup. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And then just yesterday, Saturday, which is why my podcast is late. It's a day late because I did not have time to record because I was getting ready for Christmas at my husband's parents. Um, we just have a little Christmas get together with just his parents and his brother and his brother's family. So it's just a small little thing. We do finger foods and then we exchange gifts and yeah, it's always really nice. So, um, I had to finish things for that event <laughs> because I didn't know until Tuesday that it was going to be this Saturday. So, yeah. Now, let's see. I have a couple things I still have to finish for actual Christmas, which is on Tuesday. Very, very close. Um, but it's not, it's not anything too bad. I'll show you in a minute what I, I'm going to be doing, um, so I'm excited because I'm having, my son told me yesterday that he was not going to come. He wasn't going to stay with me on Christmas Eve, which made me very sad because uh, that would have been the first Christmas I woke up and that we weren't all together for Christmas, but he understood why I felt that way. And he said he would stay for Christmas Eve. So, now I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm going to get emotional when I want to do that. So. Um, so, Christmas Eve day, I will go get him. We're planning on watching a Christmas movie. And my husband's going to make chili. And then, we usually open our gifts on Christmas Eve. So, we can sleep in on Christmas Day. Because then we go to my parents. Um. So, that will be the last Christmas event. <laughs> and I am, whew. And so then I will actually get to enjoy the rest of my time off from the school and do the things I really want to do. Well, no, I enjoy, don't, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. I do enjoy the Christmas events. It's just, I was unprepared this year and they came up too fast. So, yeah, it just uh, stressed me out a little bit. I'm tired in case you can't tell. You see all the bags? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Anything else life event related? Let me see. Oh, I do have some happy mail to share. My lovely, lovely friend, one of my friends from Australia, um, Guida. I don't think she minds me saying her name. She's her first name. I received a package from her Saturday. Yeah, I think, and I did not get to open it until yesterday. No, no, that's not right. I received it Friday, and I didn't open it Saturday till just before we were leaving to go to my in-laws. Um, it's a very sweet gift, and I love it. Um, she sent me this sweet little card with a panda, a panda, a koala, and a hedgehog on it. I'm not going to read what it says inside, because that's personal. But it's very nice. And then she also sent me these cute 
buttons. They're like big red heart buttons. They have a little pattern on the front. And then she sent me these little mushroom house buttons, which I love. So cute. Um, and then she said her, her daughter made this little ornament. And I think one of the beads fell off and I gotta find it. It's just a little bow ornament, which is, I will hang on my tree. And then she sent me this lovely thing she embroidered, which I love. Um, it's so cute. You see that? This is Christy. She believed she could, so she did. <laughs> Look at the little the lady over here with the, the yarn and the pincushion and fabrics and just all the stuff. I love it. So cute. And that was the best gift to get. Um, so if you're watching Guida, I love it. I love it. Um, I'll be hanging, finding a special space to hang this in my um, maker area. So, yeah. That, that, I just love that. <laughs> Can you tell I love it? <laughs> so, I was very excited to get that. Then I also felt like, oh my goodness, I haven't sent anything to any of my friends. My maker friends that I've met online. I do plan on still sending things, but it will definitely be after Christmas, which it's just the way it is this year. Y'all, this year snuck up on me so bad. So, now before I move on to the yarny goodness, I know y'all are waiting to hear who won this week's prize. I know y'all had to wait an extra day, but. Just a reminder what the prize was this week. Um, I had these two cross stitch kits. One with the cute little kittens and the tiny, tiny bird. <laughs> and then one with the, the birds in the different season. And then I had a an oval hoop. Which should be perfect for the kitten one. Um, some needles. These wax. And a finger. Yeah. Finger thimble. Yeah. So, as per usual, I'm adding something a little extra that's a surprise, and it's this tiny baby hoop. Look at this. It's so tiny. I think this is, yeah, it's a three inch hoop, but it would be super cute to make a little Christmas ornament with, or whatever you want, but it's very tiny. So that's my extra I'm adding in. So... This is, I can't hold all this, y'all. Maybe I can. All of this is what the winner will get. So, let's see who the winner is. I did actually put this in the um, random name picker or the random comment picker. I just decided if it picked a comment that wasn't answering a question or whatever I would kick it out and what which is what I did. So the winner is Carrie P. She is the winner and her comment was I've only made four gifts this year. I would love to make and give away more but most of my friends and family do not appreciate a homemade gift. I find that those who appreciate a homemade gift are people who also craft. They realize the work that goes into it with that said, I really need to get shopping. So, Carrie P, I hope that you got your shopping done. And I hope you enjoy your gift um, from a fellow crafter. Um, and, and I'm sad that your family doesn't appreciate the homemade gifts. Um, my family, I'm lucky to have a family that really does appreciate those gifts. 
So, um, but continue making because I know that that will make you happy. So, um, yeah, and if you'll email me at the email address up here, I will, uh, if you'll email me your address at this email address, y'all, I can't talk today. Um, I will get that in the mail to you as soon as possible. Um, it may take longer because of the holidays and everything coming up. Um, yeah. And Jane from Scrap Test Yarn, I forgot again to send you the tracking number. But you should have gotten your prize by now. I need to check on that and see if it was delivered. Because it said it was supposed to be there by Saturday. At the latest, it will be Monday or tomorrow, Christmas Eve. So, um, I, have, I did ship out your, your package. So, even though I gave you the wrong email address at first, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, and as usual, this week's prize will be announced at the end of the podcast. Um, and I will ask a question. And you have to answer that question in the comments if you want to be entered to win. Um, we have one more prize after this week. So um, so you, you can enter this week and then we'll have one more, which will technically be after Christmas. But there's one more. I think that's right. Let me look at my calendar. Yes, there's one more Saturday in December. <laughs> the 29th. So... Uh, so, since I don't think I have anything else life-related to talk about, um, thinking, 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 let's move on to yarny goodness. So, this has been a hat-making expedition <laughs> this week. I made so many hats. Um, I have given them most away, most of them away. Um, I had ordered pom-poms for some hats that were supposed to go as gifts for the Sunday Christmas celebration I had. But they didn't come in in time, so the hats did not get given, so I still have them here. I've got to send them on since I have the pom-poms now. So, <clears throat> I have one pom-pom left. I ordered six of these. I have one left that technically belongs to someone else I gave a hat to that was finished and needed a pom-pom. But, y'all, these pom-poms are fabulous. Look at them. See, they come a little messy like this, but you can just shake these. And look. Look at that. I know sometimes I'll tell you to hit it with a hair dryer or something, but this one, all I did was shake it. And look at how these things are gorgeous. I love the um the silver and the um black on the ends. I really like that. I got fuzz in my mouth now. Goodness gracious. So, so I ordered six of these. These were only three dollars a piece. And these came from I've got it written down. Our nest. Arnest Creations on Etsy. Um, she had some other ones, but this was, I just really like this one. And that was a good price for the size of this pom-pom. And it comes with the little, little ties so you can tie it on your hat and take it off when you need to wash it. So, but I really loved these pom-poms and I probably will be ordering some more. I did save one and put it on my hat I had already made because I like them so much. So, Okay, I have two of the hats I made to show you. The other ones I'll have to show you a picture of because I've already given them to who they belong to. But these are the two. They're both the same. So, and this is... I love the way the pattern works out on this one. It looks like... It's not complicated. And it has a, a nice repeat that is easy to follow and remember. You can see the texture on it has the ribbed uh, edging. 
um, and these pom poms just tie in. I just tie them with a little bow so they're easy to remove. Um, and this pom pom, this pom pom looks great with all sorts of things. The hat that I put it on, which I guess I should have showed you that. Give me just a second. Okay, so this is my hat that I put it on. You see, it's this is a golden yellow color yarn, but it still looks really nice with the pom-pom. This hat I have to flip up because it's longer. It wants to slide down on my head. But I really like the way it looks. So it's a very versatile pom-pom. <laughs> it uh now my hair's all it wasn't great to begin with. Let's let's not lie. My hair wasn't looking great to begin with. So uh yeah. So you can see that it looks nice with lots of different yarns which makes it really versatile. So, um, but this pattern here, and I don't remember what the, the golden pattern is. I'm pretty sure, no, I'll have to put that in the show notes because I don't remember what that one is. I made it a while back. But this pattern is the Colby hat. It is made by Megan Balmer from Megan Makes Do. Um, I got this pattern in a pack, a crochet pattern pack that I ordered. Um, she does sell it on her website for $4.50. I believe that's right. Um, but it's a really nice pattern. I love the texture it makes. So I made two like this. Then I had to pick some different patterns because I did not want to make another one of those. Because it is a nice pattern, but it does it's a little bit more time consuming. Um, so I'm just going to have to insert picks here for the other ones. So this next picture is going to be of the Trenta Palm Beanie. So like I said, that's the Trenta Palm Beanie. And I made this out of the... Wool ease that I got from um no here I go thinking I'm prepared and I don't have that tag in here. All right, I made that hat out of this Woolies thick and quick that I picked up at Ollie's for a dollar ninety nine, and this is the. Mystical is what it's called. It has the sparkly bits in it. Um, so, and that hat, I have this much left of a skein. So, um, you can get that hat out of one skein. And I did actually add an extra row in it to make it a little longer. Um, but I used the same pom-poms that I have for the other hats. Um, I really liked the ice blue color, but... Uh, it was a better color for my, my stepdaughter, which is who I gave that hat to. Um, she has lighter coloring, like she has lighter colored hair and stuff. Though she dyes her hair a lot, but she's naturally a redhead. But, um, yeah, that, that looked better on her and she seemed to really like it. So, um, and that hat is from TL Yarn Crafts. Um... It is five dollars for that and that's another pattern I got in a pattern pack I bought so um I get those pattern packs from make make and do crew or ideal me they put them out a lot of times and they have patterns from lots of different designers and they're usually like nineteen dollars and you get like 40 patterns so I usually buy them when they come out they usually tend to come out in different seasons so, all right, so the next hat I made was, oh my goodness, what hat was that? I made several of the, it's just called the bulky hat. Um, it's from Um, um Balka Designs, 
Umbalka Design Crochet. Um, and here's a picture of two of them. Um, I made this, those two with some wool spun, uh, quarry print. Uh, focus on it. Yeah. And this is some of the yarn I got from the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The dollar bin at, at Line Brand when they had it. And I made the two that I showed were... An adult and a child hat so I got both of those out of I have a little bit of a skein left over out of three skeins so um, what I love about that hat pattern because these were for guys so I didn't put pom-poms on them but it's it's worked in the side um, and the way it's worked you can make it as long as you want to just as long as you have the in stitches correct where you do the step down and you make as many panels as you need to make it as big as you need so it's a very adjustable pattern I've actually the pattern calls for number five bulky yarn but I've made it out of several different weights of yarn I actually made a blue one um, with oh my gosh okay I'm back again no I called myself being prepared I took notes there's so much stuff around me, but yet I forgot some things. I don't understand. Anyway, I also made a hat with this Woolies Thick and Quick in River Run. This is some I found at Walmart for $1.50. And this is actually a super bulky, a number six, but I just adjusted. I actually used the stitch count for the child's hat and I had less panels in it because it was a bigger yarn so you can use pretty much any yarn you want with that pattern you just have to account for you will need more or less stitches depending on if you use a bigger or smaller yarn so that's why I love that pattern plus since it's sewed sewed crocheted in the panel by panel like lengthwise and then you just seam that up and close up the top. Um, it's It goes pretty fast and it makes a really stretchy beanie type hat. Um, I've made several of those and I love, I love those hats. So it, um, it's a great pattern that I've made repeatedly. <laughs> so um, yeah, and this is the quarry print, what I have left. Of one skein from the other two I made so and I have to make two more of those yeah for Christmas my husband wants one <laughs> he has one but he wants another one um, and then I made the one hat that I forgot to write down what the pattern was um, but I will put it up here I made this one uh, and then I'll show the picture next. Um, I made it with this. Um, this is a leather line brand yarn. It's a landscape yarn. Landscape yarn. Which I got for $1.74 at Hobby Lobby's big sale. And this is called Metropolis. So, um, I did use one whole skein and then just a little bit of this second one for that hat. Um, it made a very pretty soft hat and it went really well with the pom-pom as well. So, that went to my sister-in-law. And she really loved it. And then the two beanies that I showed went to her husband, my well, my brother-in-law, and my nephew. So, and the blue one went to my other nephew. I just didn't take a picture of it. Sorry. But that's all the hats I've been making. Lots of hats. <laughs> and I have to make some more, but that's okay. I enjoy them. 
that's a pretty quick and easy look at all the pom-poms fluffy 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 these are great pom-poms y'all um and she makes those pom-poms so i will be ordering more of them because i really like them and they work with so many different kinds of hats um so that's what i've been doing mostly is crochet and hats I decided that I would share with y'all one of my first ever sweater makes, which I made when I was a teenager. I made it for my mother. She did try it on, but she's never worn it because the yarn is very itchy and scratchy. And it's just, <laughs> it's a horrible yarn that I made, made a sweater out of. But I didn't know any better at the time. I was still learning. So here's the sweater. You see? I'm pretty sure this is just the Red Heart Super Saver and a colorway that I love because of all the colors in it. Um, I didn't do too, too bad. You can see it has this ribbed neck. You can see my handmade tag in it. And it says KH because that was my maiden, maiden name. Started with an H. So, and it does also have the ribbed cuffs. See? Yeah. So, my mother has kept this all those years, although she could never wear it. <laughs> um,. I am tempted to try it on at some point, but like I said, this yarn is very uncomfortable. It has a, it has a cheap yarn, so that's not a good yarn to make a sweater out of because even if you wash it, it's very rough and uncomfortable. But this is the very first sweater I ever made. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think I've actually made a sweater since. I don't know why. I have plenty of sweater patterns. I just don't get to them, but. I thought I'd share that just for fun. Um, a sweater that's never been worn. <laughs> but I can't even remember how long it took me to do that. But I was so proud of it when I finished. <laughs> and so disappointed when it was unwearable. But that's how you learn, right? At least my mom did keep it. So that is all the finished objects I have to show you at the moment. I will, I do have two yarn club boxes to share. Um, let's see. I got my December Darn Good Yarn Club. Um, and we got this uh, worsted weight roving silk yarn in Crimson Fire. It is the number four weight. I do love the colors in that. It kind of blends a little here. And then we got a darn good yarn pen, which is their little symbol. And what is the pattern for this? It is a heart pouch. They have a crochet and a knitting pattern for this little heart pouch. Yep. And then we also got this coupon. I also got this coupon for this. Y'all, I had to delete out that last bit because I showed my coupon code. But you get a free four pack of that. I don't know if I'll try that or not. You do have to pay for shipping and handling. Um, so, I will say this is my last Darn Good Yarn Club box. And I want to say it is not because I don't like it. I do like it. Um, I just feel that for this box, I'm just collecting yarns. I have used some of the yarns for other projects, but I feel like the projects they give you for the one scan of yarn are not that great. Um, I love the yarn. I love to see the different colors and stuff that I get. 
Love the little goodies I get. Um, I wish they did something more like what Jimmy Beans does, where even if you get a little bit along the way, every three months, you would make a project or some, a bigger project. Um, I think I would enjoy that more. Um, I do still love Darn Good Yarn. I actually have some gift cards I've accumulated because you get points for so much you buy and then you get the yarn club box counts as that and then you get gift cards so I do want to use those um and I may try out like their they have a fabric one and they have a bead one so I haven't decided yet because I'm trying to cut back on my crafty accumulation as well that's another reason <laughs> that I was I decided to let this one go um what else did I okay because I also did cancel the geeky stitching club which I said I was going to do not because I didn't like it but because I haven't made any of these boxes that I got um accumulation y'all accumulation and then I did cancel my craftsy membership but I only did that because I'm trying out the Maker U membership that I signed up for. Um, I probably will go back to the Craftsy, but just wait for when they have one of those really good deals where you get all the free stuff if you sign up. So, yeah. I just for now cancel that one while I try out this other one. Um, so that will be my last box. Uh, unless they make some changes. I just feel like I'd rather have something I can make that's bigger over even if it's over several months, then just more yarn and just one skein of yarn. So it's a nice way to accumulate yarn if you don't have a big stash. Um, and plus it's always silk yarn. Always. And I know that's their thing. I just, you know, can only get so much of one kind of yarn. So anyway, moving on. I've got my final Jimmy Beans for the year. And they did release their new clubs for the year. They will still have the crochet club, which I was excited to see. Um, and it's still just the $15 a month. And you get yarn to make something over, like, for three months. You can buy the whole three months if you want to up front. Or you can just pay by month, which is what I usually do. And then every three months, you have enough yarn to make a project. And you do a little bit along the way. And you get little little gifts in here and you lose some little lotions and soap for to wash your stuff in um and they've added some more perks um i think every month now you get a free shipping code and then you also get they have some kind of yarn chat line or something like that they've started so if you're having trouble you can talk to them about it so I'm excited about that because I was hoping they were still going to have it, and they did. They just made some improvements, which is always good. But this is my last month for the year, um, and I have crocheted the past two months. I, I was waiting on this yarn because last month, remember, they sent one skein of the yarn that was supposed to go for their project, and then the other skein was a bonus skein because they had issues with with the the yarn so this month I actually got the two I was supposed to get plus the one I was supposed to get last month so this is this is the yarn this is again the sugar bush canoe um you get you don't usually get this whole skein of yarn but this this three months we did it's usually like little balls that you do like the shawl I had um this is carbon, and this is a 61% wool, 26% apaca, 13% polymide, which I'm sure is that knitting-like stuff. I don't know. So we got that one, and we got this one, which is Lake Shore. It's like a navy blue color. And then one which is red maple very pretty so this is what we will have made when we're done and they didn't give you designated striping for this stuff you could decide yourself so it's like a cowl and it has buttons down the side which 
they sent this month, the little wooden buttons. Yeah, they're just little wooden buttons. Um, which I'm not sure if these have a finish on them. I think you would have to put a finish on this, um, to keep it from messing up if you washed it. <laughs> uh, but I'll have to read this more to see. But this is supposed to be a hooded cowl, so it's kind of one that you can pull up over your, your head. And then we also got some soak to wash our project in. So that is the last one for the month. I'm excited to finish that. Once I get done with all my Christmas stuff and get past Christmas, I will be able to work on some other things. <laughs> some personal projects, which I'm excited about. So. And that is all I had to show you of Yarn of Goodness. Now, let's talk about Fabric Obsessed. Well, I guess technically I do have some fabric to show you, but it's kind of a project as well. Because I went to Joann's with my mother. Let's see, this past Thursday, we went, my mother works in Albany, which is about 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes from where I live. And she wanted to have lunch with my father, my son, and I, because it was their anniversary. They've been married 44 years a very long time and she got off early work got off work early and then we went and did some Christmas shopping so she wanted to go with Joanne she was looking for baskets for she makes treat baskets for people um, so I just browsed around of course to see what they had going on and they had some 70% off sales on things so I was looking for some more gifts for people so I found these which are blanket kits. This one says, I believe in naps. And it has this really cute fabric on the back with sleeping masks and eyes, if y'all can see that. And these are originally $24.99, but they were 70% off, so they were $10. Pretty good. Um, and now these are usually intended where you cut the fringe and tie it, so it's no sew, but I'm not tying all those. I'm not doing it. So I will be sewing around the border and then I will just cut the fringe and not tie it. Because <laughs> to me, sewing it is so much easier than tying all those little knots. I've done that before and I was like, why is this easier? But that's because I know how to sew. I can see where if somebody didn't have to sew, that could be easier to do. But I also picked up this one. I love the little print on it. And I'm saving this for a gift for someone else. It's a birthday shortly. Uh, I didn't see any others I liked. Or I might have gotten some more. Because that's a good deal. Uh, $10 for... These are... What size? 48 by 60 inches. So a nice little throw. For when you're watching TV or something. Um... And it's double-sided fleece, two layers of fleece. So that's that's a good price. Um, so those are two. Well, that's one that I'll be making as a gift for this Christmas. And then I'll be making a gift for my nephew of another blanket. I have some camouflage fat quarters, which I don't have up here. But um, I'm using that with some greens. Just a basic big square throw. And then I have some green fleece to put on the back. So he likes camouflage. So those are the two things I'll be working on. When I finally finish this. Since I'm talking forever. But I don't really have anything else sewing to show you. Um, I haven't added anything new to the shop. Uh, I'm hoping to get some done this coming week. To add some new things. So we've got gift cards and things like that. You know my coupon code is still good. Through the end of February. Not February. January. So for anybody who has got cash or gift cards for Etsy for Christmas. Um, that'll be there. Um, 
I am planning on working on a crochet hook organizer because the one I crocheted, which I used some soft, too soft yarn, it's just not working. The hooks poke out. It just, you know, I think I could probably sew some fabric on the back to keep it from doing that, but it's still, I want a fabric one because it'll, it's just going to work better. So once I get that pattern settled, I'll probably sell some of those in the shop. Um, but I'd like to make it where it could be useful for, well, and I could do some different ones. Because you can use those for markers and pencils and stuff if you're just going to roll it up and take with you. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing some of those kind of things. Different little things to hold individual stuff that you can put in your maker bags and tote with you. So that is coming up. I also will be working on some clothes I need some new clothes and I have lots of great patterns and fabrics. So I'll be sewing up some of that during my time off. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, let's see. I think that's all I have for y'all today for Fabric Obsessed. Um, as I said, I will be cutting way back on all that. I did sign up for a Fat Quarter Club this coming year. Um, cause you can just, you could do just the five and it was like $12 a month or something like that. So not too bad. So that is coming. It's a Tilla Lily, Tilla Lily Fat Quarter Club. So that's coming. Um, yeah. I think that's all for Fat Quarter. Fat Quarter. Fabric Obsessed. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to DIY and thrifty goodness. <clears throat> I guess I technically did get some thrifty goodness. Not the thrift store kind, but just in the sale kind this weekend um I did want to share this was my Pinterest challenge project for this week so I managed to do three blog posts this week instead of two super proud of myself um because I had cut back to two but I made these and that is crayon melted crayon wax on the side of that bottle these were Cavita bottles, which is like a kombucha type of drink that you can buy in a store. And I took the labels off. And then I used melted crayon wax on the side. It was a super fun project that I really liked. And it was really easy to do. So I wouldn't say you could wash these. Because this will scrape right off if you wanted to. But this would be good for bud bases and stuff like that. So that was on the blog this week. I'll put links to that in the show notes. And I wish that I had taken a picture of it. But I did not. My son made a crayon wax melt project for my husband's parents. Um, it was Mary Poppins with her umbrella. And see, he only had like an out, like a gray silhouette of Mary Poppins. So he colored in all her features and things and did a great job. And then under the umbrella, he also put Stitch and Tinkerbell. Um, it turned out really great with those crayons I showed before. And I forgot to take a picture or anything of it. Mm. But they really liked it. So uh, he didn't like how it turned out, but they really liked it. So that's what's important, right? Um, I think it turned out really great. So... He, um, he's really hard on himself about things sometimes, so I can't imagine where he gets that from. But that was something I did actually manage to DIY kind of thing this week. Um, <clears throat> and so I forgot to show last week this nifty little thing I got from Findings Keepings on Etsy. I'll grab all this stuff. So I ordered this bag of 20 ch different charms. And there's quite a bit of different ones in there. Probably not going to take all those out and show you. But there's like some lips and an arrow and like... Uh, I guess I'll show some of them. Because if you want to order it, then you'll have an idea. They'll all be different though. It's just a random assortment of 20 charms. 
but these are what I got. I got this tie. I got a star like wand. I got this. Uh, it's like a sand dollar. There we go. Um, I'm gonna show every all twenty of these. I got this mermaid. It's kind of sitting backwards. Yeah, you can kind of see that, but these are so tiny. But but those are the kind of things I got. Just little random things. I got like a hook and a, a sunflower and a feather and stuff like that. So it was a fun little assortment of uh, twenty different charms. I hadn't ever bought anything from them, and I just wanted to kind of see what the charms look like. And the main thing I was after was this ring I'm about to show you. This is, you can see it has two different slots there, and if you turn it around, it has another two different size slots. Come on. But, um, what this is made to do, you keep it on your finger, like this finger, and when you have a jump ring you have to open, I'm going to try to do this on camera, y'all, let's see how it goes. Usually when you open a jump ring, if you didn't know, it has a little split, well this isn't a jump ring, this is a split ring, technically. Yeah. It has a little split in the top, and you're supposed to open it from side to side, because that keeps you from putting too much stress on the metal. If you open it this way, it will stress the metal and it's more likely to break. So, usually you have to have two piece, two pieces, two pairs of pliers to open it. And then you put whatever you want and then you grab the other pair of pliers again and you put it back on. But with this, this little thing, you can stick it right inside like that if I can hold it right. You put it right in there I hope y'all can see that. And you just twist it. This is hard to do on camera. But you put it in there and you use that for leverage to open it up. It's open at all. Can you see it open? I don't know. Well, anyway, it's open. <laughs> but you use there and it has different size slots so that if you have bigger or smaller ones so so you can put use just the pair of pliers and just open it up with this that you keep on your finger if you're doing a bunch of them and it just opens right up which is super great you can see that's open now then you put your stuff on it the only part's a little tricky when you put your stuff on it is getting it closed because it's got stuff on it and not putting the stuff in there but it does close it right back up just like that so that is a nifty little thing. And I think it was only like $1.50 or something. It's really cheap. But a very useful little tool. Because when you have two pairs of pliers. And you're picking up the pliers and doing it. And you do your stuff. And you pick them back. It's just this This stays on your finger. You can open them. It's much easier. It saves a little bit of time. So. And that did come from Findings Keep Keepers. Findings Keepers. Yes. I'll put that link in my show notes. So, what else? Um, I got some, I don't even know if these are on sale, but they're Gorilla Glow Sticks. Super exciting, right? I was out of glow sticks, so I got these Gorilla Glow Sticks. I haven't ever tried these. Supposed to be five times more durable, so we'll see how that works. Um, and then, the last thing I got, which was a kind of thrifty deal, because it's these nesting boxes. It has a gnome on it. Look at him. It has gnomes on the side. In different colors. Yeah. So, originally this big box was $12.99. All this was 70% off. So, it has 
another box inside. It says gnome, sweet gnome. And then it has it on the side too. And this one was originally $9.99. And then there's one more. Oh, and it has this cute star print on the inside as well. And this little one was originally $6.99. But I got all of these, the whole set, for nine bucks. So 70% off. I think that's right. But this is Happy Holidays. It has the gnomes on the side and the trees again. So and they all have the same interior. So I just thought those were super cute. And that was a pretty good deal. Um as I said before, I usually buy all my Christmas type stuff after Christmas when they have the sales. <laughs> it's just cheaper. And I can use it the next Christmas. So anyway, that was my thriftiest buy. Although those blankets were pretty good buy too. So uh yeah. I think that's all. I feel like I'm rambling today, but I haven't got to talk about crafty stuff enough. So maybe that's why. But yeah, I think that's the end of my DIY and thrifty fun segment. So we're going to move right along to this week's prize. Mm. So let's see. The first week I did a yarn one. Second week it was more quilty sewing. And this past week it was kind of, it was cross stitch embroidery type things. So this week we're doing DIY things. Um, and this probably will be a strange assortment of things, but when you do DIY stuff, you gotta tell them what you might do. You gotta tell them what you might do with these things. So this is what this week's prize is. got two sets of wooden rings. This one has kind of a stripey look to it. This is just like a red wood kind of thing. These are purse handles or maybe you'll find something else to do with them. I don't know. I've had them forever and I haven't done. I used to make these bags that I designed that were fabric and you could snap them over these rings and like change out the outside if you wanted to and I had a bunch of these but I don't do that anymore so now I just have these left but these are also great for crochet or knitted bags or sewn bags so this is the first thing two sets of wooden purse rings and I have some beads um, have this container of beads they're kind of coral colored and there's some metal ones in there um I think these are all glass beads I think it came in a little set like a bracelet making set or something like that it's not that they, could, they may be plastic no, they, they're too light to be glass I think they're plastic but they have these they kind of have the splatter paint on it. I'm not going to be able to get it focused on a bead, but yeah. So this is this container of beads. And then I have this one, which was another bracelet kit. I'm sure this is green with some little flowers and stuff. And these are plastic beads. And then I have this bag. This, these are glass beads. And this is just a mix of all kinds of colors and shapes and things. Um, I have a whole nother bag of these, y'all. So I decided to give one away. So we have the beads and we have the purse rings. And now we have this bit of fun wire. Yeah, it's really flexible. Just some 24 gauge. You can use it for all kinds of things. And then here's some hemp cord. Says I have a bunch of this as well. This is a black color. 
eight yards. And this is like some beading thread that's in black. So it's like a, I think this is like a nylon or something. And then this black, I kept everything black, but this is stretchy cord. Um, yeah. Stretchy cord. We're making stretch bracelets. So that is what is in this week's prize. We've got the purse handles, stretchy cord, bead thread, wire and hemp um, stuff, beads, three things of beads. Can't see that one in my hand, but oh, it's really hard to hold all this stuff. That's what we got going on, okay? <laughs> so that is this week's prize. Um, move this thing out of the way. So now I have to decide what question I want you to answer, don't I? Hmm. Let's think about this. Most of the questions have been around Christmas and the holidays and things like that. So. I guess I'll ask, what are you doing for Christmas? Are you staying home? Do you have big Christmas plans? Are you going off somewhere? Or or do you have people coming to your house? Are you going to someone else's house? What are you doing for Christmas? Or do you even celebrate Christmas? Some people don't celebrate Christmas, and that's fine. Um, but if you do celebrate Christmas, I'd like to know what you're doing. And if you don't, what are you going to do on that day? To just chill out it's another day um yeah that's what i'd like to know what are you doing on christmas are you going to be sitting there crocheting that's what i'd like to be doing but i have a christmas event to go to <laughs> like i said i'll be going to my parents christmas day so um yeah that's the question so remember you do have to answer the question in the comments below um i did have someone leave a comment on my show notes and that's okay too i will include you if you put it there, um, you answer the question and I'll put you in the drawing. If you already won something though, you won't be qualified for this drawing. Um, so let's give everybody a chance to win. Um, and next week, I have to think about what the last week's giveaway will involve. Maybe a little bit of a bunch of different things like different crafts. We'll see. Um, Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. But. <laughs> so, if you want to enter the contest, uh, leave me a comment below telling me what you do for Christmas. Or, if you don't celebrate Christmas, what you do on that day. Um, I'd like to know. Uh, I'll pick the new, new winner next week. And I should be able to do it on Saturday next week with no problem. Um, sorry this one was a day late, but could not be helped. Um, yeah. So I hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. Um, and next week I will talk more about the challenge in my T-Dolls Makers group. Um, and I will hopefully have some more creative things to show you. Because I'll have some time after Christmas to be making stuff. So that'll be exciting. But I'm going to let y'all go before I keep rambling on. And I will see y'all. Oh. If you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Um, I always love meeting new makers uh, or older makers, experienced makers. You know, whether you're experienced or newbie, you're welcome. And I will let y'all go. See y'all next time.